Uh, it supports uh, many platforms. Again, it's only for research purposes. Then I'm going to the ends and objective of this research. Uh, our objective is to find a secure mechanism which can facilitate this uh, transferring uh, medical images to a network. So, uh, especially in a collaborative environment, that, is, that means we have multiple users here yeah, connected in a virtual environment to make uh, maybe a decision or to share their knowledge. And uh, about the background, uh, if you could uh, think about these common issues in security. So one thing is interruption, probably in wireless network it's hard to avoid these things, jamming, and uh, about the body and interception. So as to those things, uh, these things are so sim simple, so I, because of time constraint, I will move in. And modification and uh, fabrication. So uh, to avoid those things, the solution is cryptography. So if you consider about cryptography, there are, there are two types of cryptography, sy symmetric cryptography and the asymmetric cryptography. So symmetric is always faster, uh, but it can only guarantee the confidentiality. If you want to achieve other properties, then you have to go for uh, public key cryptography. So in our case, we use AES uh, uh, symmetric key algorithm for the symmetric key purposes. Uh, but actually, this uh, efficiency, or the, the fast one, is not enough for the real-time video. Uh, communication to encrypt fully. And uh, the other is uh, this isometric key property. There you have two keys. As you can see, the beauty of this thing is, if you lock using one key, then you have to use the other key to open it. So this uh, feature provides so many things. For example, sign -up, signature and verification feature, where in this case, the book can verify whether this message has been sent by the Alice or not. Uh, if you can open it by Alice's uh, public key, that means uh, it has locked by the using Alice's private key. So integrity checking, again, with the combination of uh, public key encryption as, uh, plus uh, the sub, uh, hash function, so you can uh, check whether the original content has been changed or not. Then, in our research, although currently they are using the standard one is RSA cryptography, uh, but we are proposing elliptic key uh, cryptography. It's not a new one, but uh, still they are not using. But you can see that US government, uh, Sony, and Microsoft, all these companies, giants, they are using uh, this cryptography to protect their data because it's the future. Uh, sometimes maybe the quality uh, issue may be the reason that uh, the public community may be not, uh, they are not using this thing. And uh, this particular algorithm, you can see that uh, the size of this thing compared to the RSA key, its size is key size. 30 times less uh, compared to the present one. Uh, on the other hand, it's uh, complexity. So you can see that uh, RSA is a sub exponential, where the, the e, uh, elliptic curve cryptography is exponential. Usually in computer science, we prefer to have low complexity algorithm, but always in computer uh, cryptography, we prefer to have uh, this kind of complexity, higher one, because it's hard for crack, uh, the attackers to crack it. And uh, the other one, it's based on uh, good math found mathematics. It means uh, there's a problem for a thousand years uh, or unsolved problem for discrete logarithmic pro problem. So based on that, uh, even the attackers have to find uh, new techniques to crack it rather than uh, just factoring numbers, uh, which is used in the other case. And uh, in this case, uh, it's like this. Uh, this is an uh, example of elliptic kip curve. And if you want to add these two numbers, P and Q, those are points, right? You can have this geometrical representation of that. And you can uh, get uh, its uh, summation R, right, according to this uh, graphical method, but even the mathematical. And there are three cases, uh, adding cases, as well as there is a point dumping phase, right, which we uh, used in our research. So although we uh, draw it like this, but the actual scenario is a bit different. Uh, we are working with finite fields. Uh, this is one example for finite fields. Uh, this is a Galois field 37. So you can see that these are the dots that we are dealing with, like the uh, only valid points. So if you add any of these two points, right, you get another point, the same field. So that is how we do. But actually, uh, although this seems, look like simple, right, this for example, but in the real scenario, it is something like this. These are the numbers. So you can see the bottom line there, uh, we have this much of numbers. This is uh, one example in Windows Media, the DRM, and uh, it's a huge amount, no, number of uh, points there. So it's hard to guess. 
and even a, if you consider one point, you can see it, it has two coordinates x and y. Each point consists of this much of numbers. Right? It's a big one. It's not easy to uh, guess it. So uh, we have implemented this thing uh, using spongy tiles and library as well as uh, available Java cryptography method. Although not uh, more modern uh, mobile phones and not support uh, this elliptic curve cryptography yet. Uh, we have used these two uh, libraries uh, to uh, do computations. And according to the present results, we have tested this thing using a 1.0 gigahertz uh, mobile phone with 1 GB RAM. And we have taken 50 trials. And uh, these are some of the screenshots of the app. And we have test AES keys as well as uh, the, uh, the minimum time, because they are different from time to time. And, uh, then uh, ellipt elliptical encryption as well as the distribution uh, time, elliptical death payment key distribution time. And uh, the, uh, this is a comparison of uh, elliptical and RSA uh, cryptography. And uh, the, technically, according to the theory, elliptical should be uh, faster than RSA. But uh, our finding says that it is not. Because uh, maybe the, the biggest reason can be the uh, unoptimized code of uh, the present code of elliptic curve. Because we have to deal with uh, huge numbers. You can use add those things using just hardware. So those codes have to be optimized. The, they are for the present uh, results. It is a bit uh, slower than the RSA. And uh, this is one screenshot of the proposed mechanism. Uh, the one thing I want to emphasize there is usually uh, computer security, when you're encrypting something, it's about two people, something somebody is sending, another person is receiving. But in this case, we are going uh, one step beyond that. And we have multiple users, and we want to uh, allow all of them to uh, access this thing and uh, without even a particular session. And, uh, Finally, the conclusion and future work, we need to uh, optimize these codes even the libraries, and uh, we need to establish a uh, certificate authority mechanism. You are dealing with public in, uh, encryption, probably you need to have a uh, security validation chain. And you have to establish it as well as um, you want to implement this thing because our objective is to implement this in Sri Lanka as a real system. And uh, we need to build the necessary infrastructure. And uh, as well as, uh, finally, we want to test it using a real data. So that's uh, the end of the presentation. This is the summary.